We don't use the word impact, actually, when we talk to organisations. Um, what we're asking people to, to do really is to think about what needs they're addressing and how they plan to make a difference. We're interested in outcomes. We're interested in people being able to articulate the change they want to make, they see the need for and that they want to make. And we're interested in learning as much as we are about evidencing our impact. Now, I mean, obviously, as Comet Relief, we've got a particular set of response, well, we've got a particular set of requirements about the kind of data and, and, and impact that we can take out of the money that we allocate because we have to go back to the public year on year and say, this is the difference your money is making. Increasingly, what we're finding is that the support that we put in at the beginning of a grant um, to help organisations be as clear as they can about what change they're seeking to make. And that support is a hands-on support, um, uh, really going through some of those stages about the kind of frameworks that they might use, trying to maintain absolute simplicity, not ask for data that we don't know how we're going to use or they don't know how it's going to be helpful to them. Um, but actually try and strip that back to what has value to whom and being clear about why we're doing that. Stories of change and the narrative around um, how that change has happened and finding, and we have a particular requirement to translate some of that into ways that the public can understand, which is, of course, isn't the same for a lot of endowed foundations. Whilst many organisations will still struggle with uh, understanding or, or, or will still struggle to put in and utilise systems that will help them get data out which is useful to them, um, what they're all very good at is telling, you know, that they do, they can and they do tell stories. We hear a lot about you know, the value, of course, of, of asking organisations to do this is they can evidence their impact and therefore it'll increase their chance of getting funding elsewhere, whether that's from statutory or other voluntary sources. There's a truth in, in that. But at the same time, if we end up tying organisations up in knots because it's too complex, it doesn't have value. As we go forward with our new strategy, we've got a real commitment for our monitoring requirements, which, you know, if we're making a grant of 120,000 a year, which is our uh, 120,000 over three years, which is sort of our average size grant, I think it's entirely appropriate that we ask people to be clear about what they're trying to do, why they think they need to do it, and how do they know what the result of what they've been doing is. I think that's entirely appropriate. But within that, we still need to be very pro proportionate. Um, also, you know, thinking about the type of work it's the size and scale of the organisation, what support we can put in. I think the other thing that we are beginning to look at is potentially a model of, of, of helping organisations understand what they're doing by moving away from necessarily reporting on individual outcomes or outcomes for individuals into a much more holistic look at what is happening within the organisation. And so and I think particularly with our core funding, we, you know, it, there's a challenge here for an organisation that wants numbers and wants, you know, this is the input, this is what you got out of it. Actually, how you understand the value and the, the value of a grant to an organisation when you've core funded something needs a different, a different approach. And so actually helping organisations also to think, well, what was the value of this bit of funding you know, which may be seen in all sorts of different parts of your organisation and how we capture that. I think it's a challenge, but I think it's an interesting one and I think we'll have a crack at it.